We're here with the one and only Susanna Hoffs. Welcome to The Grove. Thank you. It's great to be here. Congratulations on this new record. Thank you. How special, how proud are you of this, of this album? It's um, really well done. It feels really good. It was a long time coming. It was kind of a, a dream from way back, and I kept sort of moving in different directions and making Bangles records, actually. Right. So a lot of the material that I was writing over the years, thinking it would be for a solo record, ended up on Bangles records, and sure. that's cool, too. And that's your first solo record, but is there a different kind of pressure when it's just your name on something and wow. you a different type of project when it comes out, you it, look at things differently? It is different. It's a little bit um, daunting. I, I, I had the show at the Grammy Museum this week, mm -hmm. and when it hit me that it was just me, and there weren't the other girls there, yeah. and, was it Matthew Sweet? Yeah. And I couldn't lean on anybody. And I have to admit, I was sort of terrified. But then, when I went, once I went out there, I just felt the love from from the audience, and mm -hmm. I, I feel very connected to the audience now. I think that's partly Facebook, Twitter, you know, all those social media and the internet. It, you're, you could be instantly in touch with someone halfway around the world and. Yeah. get a response, so I like that. The Bengals aren't going anywhere. No, the Bengals just, we seem to have this sort of presence under the radar all the time. Yeah. We are actually out working, but because we have complicated lives and kids that we're raising and families, it's always, we don't go on these like eight week tours anymore. Right, right. For us, we had such a crazy ride in the 80s. It, it, it was like our dream, our shared dream to, you know, have our music played on the radio and to tour the world. And right. then when it happened, it was like, once we were on that ride, we couldn't get off. Sure. So I think when we regrouped again years later, one of the things we decided is if our families came first. By then we had families and we, we sort of had to learn how to say no, which amazingly enough is difficult to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. In terms of people that want to see you now and hear this new music and what can they expect in terms of you on the road over the next well, few weeks um, or months? I will be touring in the fall, playing small, intimate venues. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's going to be a really fun show, combining covers that I love and some reinventions of Bengal songs yeah. and even some stuff from what I've done with Matthew Sweet, favorite songs, and just a, a very, but in small intimate settings, very cool. which is fun. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>